Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, thank you for watching. So I decided today to film a really quick, easy 10 minute makeup routine. It was actually what I was doing while I was away on holiday. So it's all the makeup that I was wearing in my holiday vlogs in case you were wondering how I did it. When I'm away on holiday, I honestly don't like spending too much time getting ready because nine times out of 10, I just wanna get down, get a drink and chill out for the evening, you know? So this honestly is a really quick, easy makeup tutorial that I'm hoping you guys will all love. As you can see, it's super glowy. So it's perfect for summer. It's boiling hot right now. Even when I'm filming this, it's so warm outside. So I feel like it's very appropriate. So if you would like to see how I created this makeup look and the products that I used, please keep watching. So for primer, I like to use this one when I'm away and this is the Laura Mercier Radiance Bronze Primer. So it's got a little bit of a shimmer and it's also got a little bit of colour in it, which when you've got a tan and you're going for like that slightly glowy look, it's nice to use a primer that kind of works for that sort of holiday vibe that you're going for. So as you can see, this primer actually on its own is really nice. It gives your skin this amazing sort of like dewy look. So for foundation, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills. So this is the Luminous Foundation. Kind of says in the title, this is why I love it um, for holiday because it is super dewy. And I like, because I'm not really going to set my face, I really like the finish it gives my skin. So I'm just going to use a foundation brush just to apply it to start with. Also, when I'm going for a less heavy foundation look, I like to apply the foundation into the middle of my face with the brush, and then I use a beauty blender to sort of blend it outwards. So then I'm just gonna grab my damp beauty blender and just start to blend that out. So with the foundation, I just applied two really small pumps and that's all I'm gonna use for my face. Because when I am away on holiday, I do like to sort of keep my skin as like fresh as possible, I suppose. Next up, I'm gonna move on to concealer. For this, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and this one is in the color Light Medium Sand. I'm gonna apply a little bit of it to the back of my hand. And then using a brush, so this is a Sigma, it's actually a cut crease brush, it's the E62, but I really like it to apply my concealer because it's got like a little slight angle on it. So I'm just gonna apply it under my eyes. And then lastly, just a little bit on my chin. And so with this concealer, I feel like it works best if you actually just leave it on your skin to sort of set before you blend it. So while I'm sort of leaving the concealer on my skin, I'm gonna go in with a contour product. So for this, I'm gonna use the LA Girl Pro Conceal in Beautiful Bronze. I'm not actually gonna use any bronzer today. So basically I use this to sort of warm up my face and obviously contour, contour my cheekbones. So I'm going to just take it down here. So as always, I like to blend my contour as I go. I feel like if I leave it for too long, it makes it slightly more difficult to blend out. So I do my cheeks first and then I'll move on to my forehead. And then I'm pushing the product in an upward sort of motion just to sort of bring some warmth into my cheek. So that brush that I just used to blend that in with is a Spectrum A30 brush. And this one's actually so good if you're sort of doing a bit more of a quicker makeup. And um, yeah, I don't know, it just really, it's a really easy way to blend in your contour with this brush. And I think because it's a slightly smaller head on it, it does mean that you kind of got a bit more of precision if you are working slightly quicker. So that's the contour done. I'm just doing a really light contour, nothing too heavy, because as I say, it's quick makeup, not too faffy. Then I'm just gonna grab my damp beauty blender and I'm gonna go and blend in the concealer. So next up, I'm gonna move on to highlight. For this, I'm using the Milani. So this is the strobe light liquid highlighter, and this is in number two, Day Glow. This is so good. I mean, I just love using cream products when I'm away on holiday. Um, I just feel like it makes your skin look so much nicer. And yeah, I'm not a massive fan of setting my face with powder. And I've always felt like using cream products as well, you can be a bit quicker with them. So I'm just gonna apply the highlighter to the high point of my cheekbone like that. I also, when I apply this highlighter, I like to let it sit for a few seconds on each side, just because I find if you let it sit and then you go back in and blend, it blends a lot easier. It's quite wet when it first goes on. So if you let it sit, it sort of dries out slightly and I don't know, I just feel like it's easier to manage the product once it's sat for a little bit. And then I'm also just gonna apply some to the top of my eyebrow. 
there. Just basically like really want to get all of the high points in my face and anywhere that the light is hitting. So then using my finger, I'm just going to go back in and start to blend out that highlighter. Such a nice colour though. It's really, it's like a subtle glow. It's not too in your face. But yeah, it's just, it's a really nice highlighter. I actually bought it just before I went away on holiday. It was like a last minute purchase because I lost my other liquid highlighter. And I'm so impressed. I'm honestly so impressed. I really like it. So once that's all blended in, I'd just like to go finally back in with my beauty blender. Just to kind of go over everything. Just to make sure it's all nice and blended. Especially because I'm not going to set too much of my face with powder. So I do like to make sure that it is all nice and blended. So then the final cream product that I'm going to use before I go on to any powder products is, so this is the Fenty Beauty Cream Blusher and this one is in Petal Popping. This one's such a good colour. So just put a little bit onto my finger and then just blend it out. I actually said this in my one of my recent sort of glowy tutorials, but cream products when you are away, they are just the best. They really are. It just leaves, I feel like whenever I've got cream products on, it never really feels like I've got too much makeup on my face, which is just nice. So the next step, I'm gonna set my under eyes. For this, I'm using this YSL powder. This is the pinky color. It's a really nice lightweight powder and it's a soft pink color, so it's really good for under your eyes. So I'm just gonna focus the product really just under there. I don't want to set too much of all the sort of cream product, but I just like to set my under eyes just, you know, to stop any unwanted creasing. I also like to push the powder into the corner of my nose as well, because I always feel like product sort of comes off just like in here. So that's the sort of place that I do like to set. And then I'm also just going to use what's ever sort of left on the brush, just to brush over my eyelids. And then also just press a little bit into my t-zone area because we don't want that to be too shiny so the next step is just to fill in eyebrows and for this i'm using the precisely my brow pencil in 2.5 and then the last step for the eyebrows i'm just going to set them with the benefit 24-hour brow setter this is actually one of my holiday essentials even when i just have no makeup on i like to set my brows because obviously it's a clear gel so it doesn't really change the colour of them, but it just, I don't know, I just like having my brows set in place. It always makes them look a bit fuller and bushier than they actually are. So normally when I'm away on holiday, I have individual lashes on. So actually it's even quicker because I basically got the lashes on, so I just put my lipstick on and I'm done. But I don't have any lashes on currently, so I'm just going to put some strip lashes on. So the lashes I'm wearing currently are Gary, the Plastic Boys collaboration with Isla London. I'm obsessed with them. They're definitely my favourite strip lashes to wear at the moment. So I thought I'd put these ones on for this look. And then just before I finish with lips, I'm just going to add a little bit more highlighter. So for this, I'm using an Illamasqua highlighter, and this one is in OMG. And then to apply this, I'm just using a blank canvas E22 brush. And I'm just going to put it on the high point of my brow bone. I love the colour of this highlighter. It's one of my favourites. The nicest thing as well about this one is it matches really well with that Milani one. The colours are quite similar. And then I'm also just going to put a little bit in the middle of my nose. This is actually my favourite place to put highlighter. Obviously, as you guys know, I do love a matte skin look. But when I do put highlighter on, I love putting it in the centre of my nose. And then I'm also just going to put a little bit on the tip. And then not forgetting, of course, the inner corner of my eyes. And then lastly, I'm going to finish off with lips, of course. So I'm going to be using the Morphe Sweet Tea Liner. I mean, no surprises there. And then the colour I'm going to be using is the Maybelline Super Stay Matte Ink. And this is in 55 Driver. And then lastly, I'm just going to set my face. I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty. So this is the What It Do Makeup Setting Spray. This again is such a good one for holiday. It's very lightweight, this. It feels so nice when you spray it on. It's not as like intense as some of the others. It's just a really nice mist. It's also great to just spray on your face if you're feeling hot. Like right now, because this apartment is boiling, that was actually a very delightful moment for me. <laughs> So that is the makeup all done. As you can see, it's super dewy, super glowy, and actually really, really quick. In the grand scheme of how long I can take to do my makeup, this is quick. But I just wanted to finish off with showing you guys the body glow that I was using on holiday. So this one is the Revolution Glow, and it is in the colour. I don't know if it's got one. 
and I'll link them on below anyway. Um, and it's just, yeah, I really like it. I was using it a lot while I was away. So I thought I'd finish it off like a proper holiday get ready with me. So I just put a little bit between my fingers and then I'm just gonna apply it to my body. As you can see, it's a really nice shimmer. It's not too intense either, which is nice. And it feels so nice on your body. It's so lightweight. Like there's not one ounce of like greasiness to this at all, which is nice. It sort of like goes on your, it's kind of like a cream. It almost feels like a cream to powder kind of situation. I don't know, but it's just a really nice thing to wear, especially if you are hot, but you want that sort of shimmer. There's nothing worse when you've got on a real sort of heavy oil-based product. So there we go guys, there is my super quick 10 minute summer get ready. I really hope that you've enjoyed this and you found it useful. Maybe you're going away soon and you just wanted a really quick like evening makeup routine. As always, I will link all the products that I used in this tutorial below and also all the shade names and brushes and all that kind of stuff. Give the video a thumbs up if you have enjoyed this one. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.